Another installment from EVE Top 10s, today we are discussing about the history of Albus. Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. The most powerful wizard ever in the wizarding world.in. This video along with his history we are discussing Dumbledore's powers, abilities, personality and his knowledge of and many facts about him. Before entering to the matter please subscribe the channel and share this video. This video is created by Ajib Salim MT. EAF Top 10s. Albus Dumbledore was born in Godric Hollow in the month of August. As a half-blood being the son of Muggle mother Kendra Dumbledore and wizard father Percival Dumbledore. Three years later born another son Aberforth Dumbledore and then the only daughter of Kendra and Percival Ariana Dumbledore. When Ariana was six three Muggle boys attacked her. Which made a serious damage on her which cannot be cured. Her father took revenge and ended in Azkaban. But he didn't tell the reason. Soon, Albus stepped into Hogwarts famous for being the son of a muggle hater. But eventually changed into the most brilliant student ever attended at Hogwarts. Three years later Aberforth too joined in the wizarding school. But unlike Albus he is not in bookish and solve problems with duels. When Dumbledore was 18, he left Hogwarts as head boy, prefect, winner of the Barnabas Finkley Prize for exceptional spell casting, British youth representative to the Wizangamot gold medal winner for groundbreaking contribution to the International Alchemical Conference in Cairo. He achieved all the awards from Hogwarts. And the only question remained when will Albus become Minister of Magic? One day Dumbledore met another powerful and brilliant wizard like him Gellert Grindelwald. Both they became friends and shared their knowledge and magicka. Being two clever wizards and powerful they made a plan to overthrow international statue of Sir Creasy. At the heart of their plan it was Deathly Hallows. The one who master all the three Hallows is known as Master of Death. One day an argument emerged between them and Aberforth. As Dumbledore had always known, Grindelwald list control and cast Cruciatus Curse on Aberforth, Albus tried to block him and soon it changed into a three-way duel. At a sudden Ariana tried to help Aberforth and died. Grindelwald escaped to his country leaving the mystery who killed Ariana. Aberforth broke Albus Dumbledore's nose. He was alone to bury Ariana's dead body. Learning not to trust power beyond everything. Power was Dumbledore's weakness and temptation. Dumbledore worked as defense against dark arts professor in Hogwarts. While he was training young wizards Grindelwald was raising an army. He had mastered the most powerful wand in the world. Elder Wand. Peoples were dying for his plan to overthrow international statue of secrecy and establishing wizarding rule in the world. He seems to be unstoppable. The Ministry of Magic forces Albus Dumbledore to fight against Grindelwald. But Dumbledore refused Dot and throw out from his job. He gave the work to Newt Scamander, his former student and an expert in care of magical creatures. There are many reasons behind why Dumbledore didn't want to fight with Grindelwald. He thinks that Grindelwald know who killed his sister Ariana Dumbledore. Dumbledore feared this knowledge. He suspect whether it was he or not. And there was a blood pact between Albus and Gellert. They swore that will never fight each other. In 1945 Dumbledore fight directly with Grindelwald. As both of them are powerful wizards the fuel was filled with magic which had never even heard before. Dumbledore and Grindelwald was evenly powerful wizards. But perhaps Dumbledore was a shade more skillful. The duel lasted for three hours and Dumbledore won. He became the master of Elder Wand. Dumbledore again appointed as Hogwarts professors but this time as Transfiguration teacher. He also went to pick up students to Hogwarts. By the way he had met Tom. Tom Marvolo Riddle. Later known as Lord Voldemort and most powerful and evil dark wizard ever. Dumbledore suspected Tom even at the first moment. When every professors trusted him. Dumbledore was the only one who suspected him. And later it became correct. Even at the young age brilliant Riddle became a series killer and the first one to open Chamber of Seasarts. He achieved immortality at very young age, 16. When Voldemort met Dumbledore for applying the job for defense against dark arts. But Dumbledore always knew his style and mind quickly understood what Riddle is up to. And refused the job. When Tom show his true face of evil and terrified the country. Dumbledore was the one Voldemort feared most. He creates a group known as Order of Phoenix against the Dark Lord. At the same time he was trying to hunt Voldemort down, he was headmaster of the Hogwarts too. When he was going to appoint Sibyl Trionway as divination professor. She made a prophecy between Harry and Voldemort. Dumbledore was the only one who knew about the prophecy. But Snaps had leaked the first part of it to Voldemort. And he understood who does the prophecy mentioned and go to hunt Harry. Snape felt remorse and horror as Harry was the son of Lily Evans, Snape loved Lily. 
He thought that Dumbledore might save him. He met Albus, who agreed to save her. But Pettigrew betrayed the Potters and Voldemort turned to kill Harry. In the night of October last, he killed James and Lily Potter but could not kill young Harry because of Lily cast herself as a shield between them. The power love protected Harry which Voldemort could not bear and the killing curse reflected on him. Resulting losing of physical form of Voldemort. And his soul splitted into two. One of it entered into Harry. We first met Albus Dumbledore just after this. He came to number four private drive. To give Harry to his only existing relatives which would strengthen his power given by Lily. Then we met again Dumbledore in the Philosopher's Stone in Hogwarts at the sorting ceremony and Halloween celebration along with Christmas party and when Harry looked into the mirror of Ariste. In the end of Philosopher's Stone he explained Harry about why happens between Harry and Voldemort while he was trying to protect Philosopher's Stone. In the Harry Potter and Chamber of Secret. We met him again when he was explaining Harry about the incident of coming to Hogwarts by flying car. In the second book the ministry moved him from the post of headmaster but forced to make him again headmaster. In Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkonan we saw him numerous time while saving Harry from Quidditch. Sleeping in the Great Hall, giving idea for saving Sirius Black and many other times. He brilliantly made the plan to save Black. In the fourth book, we met him numerous occasion, in the Triwizard Tournament hosting by Hogwarts Dumbledore played an important role and stunned fake Moody, quickly understood what had happened and who had came instead Moody. By coming to Order of Phoenix, we had shown his glimpse of power in duel with Voldemort. His intention was to aware the ministry and try to protect Harry. He won in both of them. Dumbledore recalled Order of Phoenix. A secret society against Voldemort. In this book, the Ministry of Magic Refuse Voldemort had given a point Dolores Umbridge to resist Dumbledore. And removed many of Dumbledore's achievement and awards. But forced to reinstall it. When Dumbledore had shown Voldemort to him. Dumbledore dead in Half-Blood Prince but his death was planned between him and Caesar's Snape which was revealed in Deathly Hallows. Dumbledore passed the knowledge of Horcruxes to Harry. When they were searching first Horcruxes in the cave we again met Dumbledore's power even at his weakest form. In Deathly Hallows he appears at King's Cross. And speak to Harry and told most of his history. Dumbledore lived more than hundred years. He wasn't afraid of death. He treated death as an old friend. When he was young he and Grindelwald tried to seek immortality by uniting all the Deathly Hallows but when he grew up he abandoned the plan and accepted death. However, he had seek all the Deathly Hallows. But not a time. His death was planned between Severus Snape. For a reason he had been cursed. When Dumbledore found out the ring of Morvolo. He was tempted by the resurrection stone. He weared it thinking that he would see his mother and sister but he was cursed by the Horcrux which reduced his life into one year. He made a plan to help Malfoy which resulted into downfall of Lord Voldemort. In most of the time Dumbledore's expression was calm and quiet. He had never fought fire to fire, he knows fighting with an angered person with anger is Watts. But however there are some situations Dumbledore became angry. He duel with Voldemort lazily. Even though his life was ruined by muggles, he never hate them. But created many laws to protect them. Beyond a powerful wizard he was a good man too. He achieved the respect of even censures and keep a phoenix as pet both were considered as impossible. He represented youth and international organization even when he was a student. This proves his leadership quality. Albus was never proud or vain throughout his life. He always tried to find good in anything even he found good in Dursley's. He even tried to find any good in Voldemort and given him a chance. This is one of his greatest strength. His ability to value everything made him powerful. Even fairy tales. He had even friendship with giants which were dangerous to wizards. Dumbledore is highly intelligent. His brain is extremely sharp and a wizarding genius. He could understand people in a various way. He even trusted Snape and manipulated him. When Moody show his true face he quickly understood what had happened and what to do. His intelligence allowed him to see the future. Just like a seer if even much more than divination. He made plans which ensure downfall of Voldemort. He had guessed everything that Voldemort will do after his death and planned what to do after his life and divided each and every job among appropriate persons. He could make Voldemort stay in the ministry Artuum and ensure the duel to show the ministry of magic that he had returned. When everyone trusted Azkaban and Dementors Dumbledore is the one who was against it and predicted its true alliance. Dumbledore always understood people than anyone could and know their true face. He is known as the most brilliant student ever attended at Hogwarts.
He could penetrate into Voldemort's protection and quickly understood each steps and process which Voldemort put in the cave and understood the full setup and how it worked. It is clear Dumbledore's intelligence is superhuman. Dumbledore is the most powerful wizard in the Harry Potter universe and one of the most powerful fictional character ever. We had shown his glimpse of power in the duel with Voldemort. Which clearly underlines his dueling skill. Dumbledore duel with Grindelwald with three hours which is known as legendary duel and most largest duel ever in the world. Dumbledore had managed to do highly complex magic even without a wand. He had done most of his magic non-verbally. He had created a firestorm at his extremely weakest form single-handedly. He managed to do such an outstanding magical ability with perfect ease Eason after drinking the emerald potion. He could not stand properly or walk at that time. Dumbledore was powerful even when he was a student. He had a special ability to conjure new magics at circumstances. This is because he had understood magic deeply than any other wizard. Dumbledore reaction in the duel with Voldemort is highly fast. But the reality is it is the slowest reactions of him. That even to Voldemort strengthened by unicorn blood and Nagini venom. He is the only wizard Voldemort was afraid of. As well as Grindelwald. He was always afraid to the dark arts and dark wizards. When Dumbledore mastered the Elder Wand. Which makes him unstoppable to any wizards. Dumbledore could change and manipulate any element in the world with perfect ease. He had a deep knowledge in magical instruments as he understood every steps what the wands do and what Harry's wand had done. Which even Ollivander doesn't know. He invented twelve use of dragon blood and deeply understood the Philosopher's Stone. In his office he had many magical instruments which even their use had never known to others. The only pensive belongs to Dumbledore. He created the Deluminator. Which had many magical properties with sound and light. He had deeply understood the structure of all the three Deathly Hallows. And created a blood pact. His snake-like instruments and knowledge in magical arts and in the portraits and numerous other magical instruments and weapons. He also had a deep knowledge and care of magical creatures. When he saw the Nifkaler from Newt's pocket. He had understood what had happened. He domesticated a phoenix which is extremely hard. His new invention of twelve use of dragon blood. Sending phoenix and sorting hat to Harry to defeat Basilic. His knowledge had clearly explained throughout the series. He had even get the respect of censures. And helped Newt's Scamander to save his many magical creatures. Dumbledore is both skilled in legilimency and occlumency. His occlumency is so strong that even greatest legilman in the wood couldn't penetrate into his mind. So that's all today, don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn in notification as well as like the video.